this is to all my parents that say the DA won't take charges. They say it's a civil matter. This video is for you. Interference with child custody, Texas Penal Code 2503 is a state jail felony. And sometimes you call law enforcement and law enforcement will tell you, hey, we don't take that charge or the DA tells us not to take that charge or the DA won't take that charge. If that's something you commonly hear, then this video is for you. We need to refer to the Texas Constitution, Article 1, Section 28, Suspension of Laws. No power of suspending laws in this state, which means nobody can suspend the laws of this state except the legislature. Law enforcement and district attorneys do not have the power to say we are not enforcing the state law. They are not part of the legislative branch. Only the legislature can suspend these laws. And if you scroll back up to 3A, equality under the law, equality under the law shall not be denied. So it seems like a lot of fathers that go and try to pick up on first, third, and fifth at six o'clock, they're often denied. And they're often told by law enforcement and DAs that there's nothing they can do that they need to take it to civil court. And if you go to the Texas Penal Code, chapter 25, offenses against the family, and scroll on down to 25.03, Right here, interference with child custody. A person commits an offense if the person takes or retains a child younger than 18 years of age when the person knows that the person's taking or retention violates the express terms of a judgment or order, including temporary order of a court disposing of child custody. And again, we didn't make this a felony. The legislature made this a felony. Us utilizing the law um, to see our children should not be a big deal. We should be upholding the judicial order as the judge has already rendered in the best interest of the child. Therefore, the legislature is the only one who can pass laws and who can take laws away, right? The DA can't do it. A judge can't do it. Policemen can't remove what the legislature has already put in place. The legislature made this a felony. And while the DAs don't want to enforce it, they have to enforce it. And let me show you where. When you go to Chapter 2 of the Code of Criminal Procedure, Duties of District Attorneys, and we're going to get into a little bit of Chapter 2 right now. District attorneys need to know about 2.03, neglect of duty. And you can read it here in Chapter 2 of the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure. I highly, highly suggest that you read Chapter 2 of the Code of Criminal Procedure. So we get into 2.04, shall draw complaints, and 2.05, when complaints are made. And I'm just going to go over these real quickly. Upon complaint being made before the district and county attorney that an offense has been committed in his district or county, he shall reduce the complaint to a writing, which is an affidavit, an instrument, um, some of those that they talk about in Chapter 15 and Chapter 45 of the Code of Criminal Procedure. The complaint in writing and cause the same to be signed and sworn to by the complainant, and it shall be duly attested by said attorney. Now, 2.05 is where it says where it needs to go when a complaint is made. Now, if you look at the last sentence, when a complaint is made, if the offense be a felony, remember, interference with child custody is a state jail felony. If the offense be a felony, he shall forthwith file the complaint with the magistrate of the county. If the offense be a felony, he shall forthwith, which means he shall immediately file the complaint with the magistrate of the county. So remember, DAs and law enforcement don't have the power to supersede laws or tell you that they're not going to enforce them. And we just talked about where these uh, felony complaints shall go. They shall be forthwith before a magistrate of the county. So what are the duties of a magistrate? Okay, so if you go down to 2.10, duty of magistrate, it is the duty of every magistrate to preserve the peace within his jurisdiction by the use of all lawful means to issue all process intended to aid in preventing and suppressing crime, to cause the arrest of offenders by the use of lawful means in order that they may be brought to punishment. So again, we didn't make interference with child custody a state jail felony. We didn't even make it a law. The people that we elected, the state representatives and the state senators who make up our legislature, legislated this law. So the DAs and law enforcement can't take that away from you. A lot of parents from El Paso County, El Paso, Texas, 
have told me that their DA does not want to enforce interference with child custody, mandating that they go and hire an attorney and take it back to family court. So if we go to the El Paso County District Attorney's Office, we see that uh, it is run by uh, District Attorney Bill D. Hicks. And this is a picture of Mr. Bill D. Hicks, who's the current El Paso County DA. Now, Mr. Hicks was a family law attorney, and him mandating that parents go hire an attorney is causing the parents of financial harm when we have a viable option for parents to see their children in the state of Texas, especially in El Paso County, where they're a part of Texas. So when Bill Hicks tells parents, go hire an attorney if you want to see your children again, that's not really a reasonable option for Mr. Bill. Now, if y'all remember, the DA before Bill Hicks was Yvonne Rosales, and a lot of people had issues with that DA because they said she wasn't enforcing the law. And that we could say the same thing for Mr. Bill Hicks. Bill Hicks, again, um, if you're making parents go hire an attorney just to see their children, you're doing a disservice not only to the children in El Paso that have a right to that parent, but a disservice to your own constituents that you owe a duty to. These parents have every right, as per the family code, you know it as a family law attorney, and as per 153.001 public policy, the public policy of the state, the state in which you're representing El Paso County, assure that children will have frequent and continuing contact with the parents who have shown the ability to act in the best interest of the child. What does it say when we have laws on the books to help us uh, safeguard those fundamental rights to our children and then DAs that are put in that position and they want to neglect their duty to the people and to the children of, of El Paso. And to sum it up, we're going to stop at Chapter 151 of the Texas Family Code, Rights and Duties of Parents. A parent of a child has the following rights and duties. The right to have physical possession. The right to have physical possession. So if you have court orders and Bill Hicks or a DA is not allowing you, they are violating your fundamental right to that child. Not only that, but if you look at number two of chapter 151, it says the duty of care, control, and protection and reasonable discipline of the child. Now you have the duty for care, control, and protection. So if you call law enforcement to protect and safeguard those fundamental rights, you are well within your right as a parent and it's your duty. Just like it's Bill Hicks's duty to preserve the peace within the county of El Paso. And if you scroll down to 151.003, limitations on state agency actions. A state agency may not adopt rules or policies that take any other action that violates the fundamental right and duty of a parent in the direct upbringing of the parent's child. And if you don't have access to the child, your DA's office, your DA and your law enforcement office, are doing a disservice, again, to the child and to the parent, making them pay for an attorney in which they already have good orders that are fully enforceable. In conclusion, we have DAs that are a state agency and law enforcement agencies, sheriff, police, constables, they're all part of uh, law enforcement agencies. Those agencies cannot have a policy that violates the fundamental rights of the parents. Not just that, but they cannot override or supersede the legislature. I would really hate to think that district attorneys in the state of Texas are feeding the family law industry by continuously mandating that parents keep taking their orders to be modified when you already have a viable order that's enforceable, not only by contempt on the civil side, but also by criminal charges on the criminal side. Tell me more what you think in the comments and follow me for more tips.